welcome back to Kevin's Trooper channel. This is the channel where we do all types of DIY projects and today I wanted to review the Viking 3350 welding helmet. I've had this helmet now for about four or five months and I have absolutely put it through its paces. I've been doing a lot of welding since I've got it and I have to tell you I give it definitely a two thumbs up. I think that it is the best welding helmet for the money that you can buy. There are some more expensive helmets out there in the three to $400 range that I don't think they do anything that this helmet doesn't. In fact, this helmet has a larger viewing area than some of those more expensive helmets. This helmet is very comfortable. The way it fits my head, it seems to fit very, very well. This helmet switches from light to dark in one twenty-five thousandth of a second and the viewing area is about three and three quarters by three and a quarter inches. Very large for a helmet of this class. It's so nice to be able to put your helmet on and have a really nice field of view. This helmet also has a test function where you can push a button and make sure the auto darkening feature is working. It has a grind feature if you're doing some grinding and you still want to wear your welding helmet. It has a grind feature on it to prevent it from going dark from the sparks from your grinding wheel. And also it has a low battery LED indicator to where if your batteries are getting low, it will give you an LED indication that it's time for a new battery cell. And it comes with this really nice bag that I hang on the side of my bottle and whenever I'm not using it, I can protect it by keeping it here in this bag. Really nice way to take care of your helmet whenever it's not in use. The next thing that I wanted to cover with you guys today is how to replace the clear lens on the helmet. As you can see, the outside lens is starting to get pretty beat up. Part of that's my fault. One of the things that I've been trying to get out of the habit of is putting my face right up next to my weld. I'm trying to back off a little bit whenever I weld. I've kind of developed a bad habit with that now, so I'm kind of trying to ingrain myself not to stick my head right up against the weld where I can see. I have a hard time seeing at arm's length. I don't know what it is, but anyway, that's one reason why my lens is so beat up. I do a lot of stick welding as well, and that's pretty hard on the lens. So let's get this thing changed, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, step number one is we're going to remove the glass assembly from the helmet and make sure that you don't touch this internal glass if you can help, if you can help it. Put it somewhere that it will not get damaged. And then you're going to remove the clear lens and gasket assembly out of the helmet and you're going to very carefully take your gasket off of your old lens and then with clean hands I'm going to remove the protective plastic off of both sides. Come on. There we go. We're going to put the gasket back onto the clear lens exactly how it come out. And there is a groove all around this gasket that the outside lens fits in. And you want to make sure that it's all perfect all the way around, nice and sealed up. And you want to make sure you assemble it the same direction that it came out of 
And then you're going to very gingerly pop your module back in place and you're back in business. Now these things do scratch up very easily I must say. One very important tip with this is when you set your helmet down try not to set it the clear lens down. Try to set it either like this or I try to hang mine up. The other thing that I try not to do is have it sitting on my welding table and I'm grinding and the grinding marks are going right into my helmet. Just take a little bit of care. If you're going to spend this much money on a helmet, you really want to take good care of it. Well, it was definitely time to change my clear lens. I was having a hard time seeing my weld pull even with my face this close to my weld. Sometimes I would have trouble following the line that I was wanting to follow whenever I was MIG welding and I would get a little bit off. Just couldn't see that good. But this new clear lens and this Viking 3350 should be ready to go. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join our great community that we have on this channel. And give me a thumbs up because you know it means a lot to me. Let's go do some welding.